Welcome back to Artists on Artists on Artists on Artists. Get your Bibles ready. This one's a doozy. Christian cinema and television is really prominent in America. Actors, writers, directors, prophets, all putting together stories in the name of the Lord. So sit down, get on your knees, put your hands up, and begin to praise, because these Christian filmmakers <laughs> are going to tell us all about what it's like to make movies in America for not only the people that love God, but for God himself. Let's listen in. Shall we open with a prayer? Oh, that'd be appropriate. That would be awesome. Okay. Uh, who wants to lead it? Well, we could do a popcorn style. Let's do a popcorn oh, style. Popcorn style. Yeah. Love okay. a popcorn prayer. Okay. Heavenly Father, mm. won't you please bless this podcast studio? Won't you bless our engineer, Michael? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> won't you bless this table and let it not pick up any stray sounds mm. or mm. errant whispers? Let us fill our hearts with smiles and our bodies with our souls mm. as we give praise unto him and talk about the craft. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 Wow. Was awesome. wow. oh. That was such a great popcorn style prayer. I love that. Yeah, well, sometimes you sometimes you eat a whole bunch of popcorn yourself. <laughs> For sure. No. Uh, did you want to finish introducing yourself? Hey guys, what's up? I'm Pierce Bird, and I am a Christian filmmaker based in Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, what kind of what what do you do for the film industry? Well, what happened to your voice right there? <laughs> I just finally set in. <laughs> you good? Yep. Okay. What do you do for the film industry? I've worked on uh, a, 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 I've worked on a movie coming out now, and I'm very excited about it. Very, very excited about it. It is called One Young Boy, One mm -hmm. Young Boy, and mm -hmm. I can't wait to tell y'all all about it. Mm, one young boy. I one know young one boy. young boy. <laughs> uh, how is everybody? Uh, I am. <laughs> Bruce Bobby. Uh, Bruce Bobby here. I uh, I live in Orange County with my little, uh, I have a film studio outside of a church, uh, The Rock Church. Um, been there, grew up there, grew up in the church. And now the church is successfully funding a independent studio in the back of the church. Um, so I'm so glad to be here. So glad to be like recognized as a Christian filmmaker amongst some of the greats. Wow. Yeah. Wow, oh, wow. that's great. Yeah, bless. That's Fantastic. awesome. So yeah. so really rags to riches. <laughs> Amen. Similar to the guy that we all know. <laughs> but you know, I can tell your roots from your voice. Mm. That 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 guy that grew up in a certain way is still in there. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm young at heart. Okay. Yeah, once it set in, I could tell oh, that there yeah. was a young guy. Oh, Before it yeah. set in, I really couldn't tell where you're from. But you know, once but your voice it, set in, like I, like so, I'm saying, your voice tells an economic story. Yeah. <laughs> like it tells it me does. how much money you used to have in your bank account, uh -oh. how much you have now. Yeah. It's yeah. all there. Oh, I love that. I'm clear. Tames, paints a tapestry, absolutely. My name is Stephen Prescott Wood Smith. <laughs> I am well started out as a youth pastor, youth group with a bunch of bunch of kids, a young life in a little tiny town called Arrowhead, Texas. And uh, we started a little program where we were making films together. Pretty soon, that group turned into a production company. And that group turned into a powerhouse in the Christian filmmaker industry. We make serious stuff. The teens come to me with ideas, and, and I go from there. And we talk about a lot of the stuff that I think other people are scared to talk about. And we get a little gritty. And we sometimes our movies don't even feel Christian, but they are. And I think that's what's important. Wow. You're the only Christian production company that was nominated for an MTV Music Award, That's right. right. <laughs> right that's right. That's right. We made a music video for Tyler, the Creator. <laughs> And I was such a cool music video. It I was it was an experience that I will never forget. But isn't that interesting? You served the creator and you served Tyler, the yeah. creator. That's why as we got well. in. I when I to be clear, when I signed on with Tyler, I thought he was a religious man. <laughs> yeah. Because that was, it's I thought, confusing. I thought it was in his image. Everything is in God's image. And and he he creates different kinds of things, spiders coming out of mouths, what mm -hmm. have you. But it <laughs> definitely terrifying. It, terrifying. it His was music videos scare me out of my pants. Sometimes. And what is fear if not uh, a moment for God to remind you that He exists? You know what I mean? So uh, mm, I like to think, you know, mm. a, a spider comes from a mouth, so do lies, so does adultery. You know, mouths are used in adultery, mouths have a history of being used with sin and with good. 
And so mm. I thought it was really important <laughs> to get in there and work with Tyler. That's, That's right. fantastic. That's so good. I love that. Do y'all still keep That's in touch great. at all? Do you still He texts collaborate? me every day. I can't keep up. Wow. <laughs> I can't keep up. I imagine He's he really must be great. a crazy texter, too. He yeah. texts a lot, and he texts me a lot of pictures. And, and sometimes they're completely black. And I think he took a photo in his in his pocket, and then he goes, "No, that was intentional." Wow. And it scares me because black's wow. the color of sin. But <laughs> I know he's on the right side. We've had a lot of heart to hearts. We've had a lot of come to Jesus. What a great moments. dialogue! It's just about yeah. meaningful conversation. Totally, right. and I love Tyler. meaningful. Right. And we didn't win. We didn't win the MTV no, uh, sorry. VMA. But we got to go to some really fun after parties, and I had some really great conversations. And did you see anyone say, at the after party? Like, did you see? Yeah, let's just cool? say Dua Lipa and I. <laughs> mm -hmm. We oh. we had a conversation that I think all of us would be lucky to have. We oh, would, I love her. Yeah, she's really great, and she's a great listener. I got to tell her all sorts mm. of things, and she didn't interrupt me at mm. all. Mm. It was amazing. She sat and she listened. That's amazing. fantastic. Oh, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Where am I? My, Mount Sinai? Why am I giving such a big speech here? I'm <laughs> going <laughs> on and on. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, you yeah, got to yeah, shut yeah. me up. You guys have permission to shut me up all the time. All right. Oh, all right. Well, sure. I, don't uh, think I'll, I don't think I'll have to. <laughs> Oh, well. Um, hi, guys. My name is um, 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 uh, Mary Sue Allen. Um, I am a Christian filmmaker. I was, and I'm very open about this, I used to live a life of sin. Mm. Um, I'm from Huntington Beach, and I lived a full life of sin. That's such an and interesting voice for ha Huntington Beach. <laughs> you know, I thought you were from well, Born and raised Huntington? Born and raised Huntington Beach. <laughs> and, and Mary Sue Ellen, that sounds like a first and middle name. So Ellen is your last name and Sue is your middle? Ellen is my last name, Sue is my middle. Well, it wasn't always my last name. Ellen wasn't always my last name, but when I found Christ, he directed me to Ellen. Um, and so I sort of, you know, I had this moment where I found my true voice and I found my true last name that yeah. I that I truly was, I know I was born with. But when I was a, a, a woman working, you know, the pornography studios of Huntington Beach. Whoa. Oh, oh. I, are, and and I'm are, very open about that. I'm very open about those that. Those streets are deep. <laughs> the streets are deep, and uh, and the porn is heavy, and it's hard, yeah. and it's a heavy burden that mm -hmm. lays on your heart to live a life heavy of sin. Porn. It's like the scripture say, says, the streets are deep and the porn is heavy. Yes. The streets are deep, the porn is heavy. That's exactly. Corinthians 44, 45. That's yeah. right. Exactly. 44, 45. Exactly. And so anyway, I did that for a while and then I was saved and now I have a, I've been on a long journey of taking the camera and pointing it towards the light, Great. right? Pointing it towards the light. And so now I have a new movie coming out on Pure Flix. That is the Netflix that is not for sinners. Um, <laughs> we're all, we all, we're all releasing on Pure Flix. Yeah. We're right? all we're releasing all on, on Pure Flix. Yeah. I got a first look deal with them. <laughs> you have an overall with Pure I Flix? I have an overall with Pure Flix. <laughs> well, you great. can check out my movie, um, He Lied, She Believed, on <laughs> Pure Flix. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's and so and I, what I love about a title like that is... I feel like I understand it even before watching it. Because sometimes titles don't describe what the movie is. No. Right. He no. lied, she believed. And he, I'm I getting get it, it that's, already. That's he with a lowercase h, right? Oh, I'm, absolutely. Yeah. Because you know who he is. Yeah, because he doesn't lie. No, right. he would clear. never lie. The he in your movie's a fucking dog. But he... Excuse me, I cuss. Whoa. I believe God's Whoa. okay with it. Whoa. Whoa. You wow. believe... You know why? I lean more on the Hollywood side than the Christian side, but I do believe God's saying. We can tell that saved. by your voice. Okay, Once your this voice guy's said cool. It, I really <laughs> really no, cool. I, I rock. I mean, when you said that word, I was like, uh-oh, did a septic tank burst? <laughs> That stuff is disgusting. Absolutely it's crazy, filthy. but I love it. You're I think wild. It's when so people much fun. use curse words, it just shows an ignorance for language and vocabulary. They just don't know any other words to use. And it's it's uncreative. That's so funny because I sound like the sinners, so they come near me. You sound like a freak when you talk. That's so they stay away. Wow. That's interesting. What do I sound like? I'm okay, I'm dying to know who you are. We're in between freak and uh, sinner. That was right. wonderful. Yeah. Oh, great. Thank you. <laughs> But you know that's invitational. We call that seeker sensitive. Mm. Uh, people can come to that. Mm. I, I guess I guess I'm up next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last but not least. Oh, certainly not. My of name course. is Parker Maine. I don't like to say I'm a Christian writer or a Christian director. I like to say I'm a storyteller mm. who mm. happens to be Christian. Mm. Oh, I and, love that. And so some of the stories I tell, they just happen to have. A little Jesus here, mm. a little redemption there, a little resurrection in the middle, perhaps. But it's not. 
what it's for. It just happens to be about that. Mm. So if you get saved watching one of my movies, well, that's not my doing. That's mm. him who works mm -hmm. in me. Does that mm. make sense? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's fantastic. I love Your that. movies, the plot, you couldn't find a, a, a faith-based plot, and then it comes out of nowhere. That's right. It that's right. sneaks up it's, on you. It's extremely confusing for me. I don't, I don't really get it until the end, until yeah. it makes sense. You well, know? and... and you know, we serve a God of many f things. Sometimes our God is a God of confusion. Sometimes yeah. our God mm -hmm. is a God of Trojan horsing a really strong message inside something that is a little avant-garde yeah. at yeah. first yeah. and a little disorienting and like maybe kind of makes you a little physically ill to be watching it. Mm -hmm. And then out of nowhere, boom, John 3.16, for God so loved there the world is. that he gave his only son. Totally. Yes. Et we all know the rest, right? We oh, Should we say it all together? Oh, that whoever yes. believes in him shall not perish, perish but have eternal, eternal life. life. That's right. Yeah. And we all see. know that. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I do want to kind of make uh, a, a call a little bit of attention there. You did say Trojan horse. I don't believe that God had anything to do with that. That was Greek. And I, I don't think... <laughs> I just, I don't want to get into You are a little fact-checking Freddy Well, over there. I just think it's important to praise the Lord in the right way, and, and maybe that's where we differ a little bit, but I don't think if God was around during the war, during the Iliad, uh, I don't think God would have let those men go into that little horse. So you're saying God was not there during the Iliad? Yeah. You I don't think to be gone? clear. You're <laughs> saying God was not in Greece? <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying everywhere God alone. is in but Greece. <laughs> For well, at that, at, that time, at that time, there were a lot of gods involved. <laughs> I I believe in Jesus and I believe in all of Greek mythology and right. I believe they work together. So you believe that God started at a certain, the second Jesus was born, God clocked in. Yeah. And everything No, no, that. no, no. God obviously had to um, immaculately oh. conceive. Oh, of course. He did uh, have Jesus. to immaculately so conceive. I don't think we he was born I think, I think he created. I think he created the oceans. I think he created the sea. I think he created the water. I think he created what all Poseidon of that. What did Poseidon create? Well, Poseidon came in later. Let me tell you what happened. I Here's what I like to say. God's our benevolent creator. God also is basically our benevolent facilitator. He mm, is like the sure. property manager of what we do. That's right. And he came in and he set everything up. He said, y'all have fun with this. Y'all enjoy yourself. Y'all... Go wild. And that's here come the dinosaurs. Here come the here come the the cavemen. Here come the Greeks. And then as that all was happening, the Greeks led to the Romans. The Romans led to Jesus, of course. And then he said, All right, it's time to kind of right course. Let's do an all-hands meeting. Let's fix this little bit. So <laughs> are you an old testament junkie? <laughs> OTJ? I, I tend to love the I love I OTJ love the OTJ right here. Fantastic. I'm a bit of an OTJ. There's so many fun stories in there that I think all happened. And no, I it's love all it. Blake's. I don't think it's fun at all. Well, that's if you're if you're if you're talking about that kind of stuff, sure. Yeah. But I, I I think there's a lot of trials and tribulations, and God God was such a, a riddler and a trickster and an interesting guy. We don't say. talk about that enough. We don't compare God to Batman villains enough. But you know, no. he was the original no. Riddler. Sometimes he's Penguin. Sometimes he's a bit of a Joker. You know, yes. some of those parables were real funny. Yeah. You know, yeah. in the original, a bit text. of a poison ivy sometimes too. Mm -hmm. All right, who here leans on the writer side or producer mm. side or act like I'm. I'm dying enough. Again, I'd like to call myself a storyteller. I don't okay, really go it. by right. the writer, right. director, binary. Are you writing your scripts? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of yeah. dictate them to an intern, and then she types them up. Amazing. An intern? Yeah. That's, so how long do you have interns for? Uh, about six to eight months, Okay. depending yeah. on how long they want to stick around. You know? Has God called it into your heart to pay them? Now, that is something that, if you look at the original scriptures, there is no payment <laughs> for interns. Oh, yes. Jesus is very, actually very serious about no payment for interns. Let's go, go back to scripture when we talk about interns. So is it biblically appropriate to pay a young student trying to break into Hollywood? Well, and you know what? They don't talk about John 3, 17. For God so loved the work that he did it for free for a little bit. <laughs> of exposure. To break into exposure. the business. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. And what is our God if not a God of exposure? Mm -hmm. yeah. and, Amen. And that, it's true. that is how I show love to my staff, to my interns, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. by giving them exposure on this very show. Yeah. I don't want to say their names, though. Yeah. No. You, Peter. I mean, Peter, I've seen you play Jesus a couple Pierce, times. Pierce is. Pierce, Pierce I'm so name. sorry. We yeah. all know each other's names, <laughs> Peter right? On the brain, <laughs> Peter St. Peter. Brain. No, I get it, because I played uh, St. Peter one time. I'm a, <laughs> I think I'm a little out of my depth here, though, because a lot of my movies are more like shoot 'em up action adventure movies about Jesus Christ, and you guys right. are. <laughs> 
You okay. guys are real. Where good. he's the protagonist. He's the protagonist okay. getting revenge. I know. I I have to say, um, I am such a fan of Space Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> I thank think you. he's so Space fun. Jesus. And Space Jesus was a lot of fun to film. We were down in Shreveport just shooting it all along blue screen. And we had no idea what we were doing. But we had a lot of money from <laughs> the church, a lot mm -hmm. of fun, and we were just going and going and going. And how, going. how big's your studio in Shreveport? Oh, it's like two, three miles. Wow. <laughs> Two, miles. Three miles. So basically the the uh, there's a big big, you know, pastorship down there. There's a ton of different That's like uh, from Pasadena to Mid City. <laughs> it's huge. It's absolutely huge. It's like I've uh, spoken like a true Angelino. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes my Hollywood side sneaks out. Yeah. <laughs> you were raised a hundred bitch, you would know. Uh, I loved your well, movie, uh Mrs. Marvel Mary Magdalene. Oh yeah, Mrs. Marvel Mary yeah. Magdalene, where we got sued for huge Huge, a lot of money because we just right, yeah. stole Miss Marvel. Well, I saw that article <laughs> on uh, Deadline, uh, Sea of the Sea of the Deadline, oh, okay. the Christian the Deadline. Dead, no, yeah. yeah, the Dead Sea, Sea, no, the Dead Sea, Deadline C. Deadline, C. <laughs> deadline C. There's a lot of different websites for where there's we're so much Christian our, Deadline. We deadline in the sand that Jesus yeah, did that with his fingers. So, yeah, yes. we're just kind of trying to have fun down there, you know, <laughs> in Shreveport. We have this com. huge studio and just trying to make it work, you know. <laughs> so we get a lot of money from the city. I mean, and people in Shreveport love our movies. We are, uh, you know, local celebrities down there. And it yeah. is, you know, making something about God uh, you sh you have is a blessing in disguise. But right. making something about God that's shooting them up, you know, that's land yet, man. That I, and I tell you right what, there. Mission and Gospel which is one of oh, your yeah, like, mission and gospel. One, <laughs> other, one of your favorite lawsuit. franchises, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, which was worth it because that was my wife and I's first date. Really? It's wow. the first film in that franchise, yeah. Thank wow. you so much. That was a big deal. So that we'll is, always that was that. one of my favorite films because we got off a lawsuit because we claimed parody. And it wasn't parody, it was an original script. <laughs> okay, should you say that on, on microphone? <laughs> I think it's fine now. They can't okay. come back. But he, he, can they can't come back. he can they claim this is parody later Only he and it'll can be come fine. Back. Hey, right. yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> I, I gotta say, I think my favorite one of yours is The Ten Commandos. Thank you. Mm, yeah, that was, was so, so fun. So we just went all <laughs> wild. I got my friend Billy Boy. I got my friend Big Derek. I got my friend Small Derek. And we shot for 20 days, 10 Commandos. A really fun story about 10 men who go into Syria to protect our soldiers <laughs> right. and end up finding the Ten Commandments. And they don't know what to do. Now, is it it's true Big Derek and Young Derek are from comedy. your youth group in this, uh, ministry? Yeah, we all met. We all met in the church. They are just buddies of mine. That's you where know, you got to find them. Youth group kids are the most mm. fun. They mm -hmm. have a lot of ideas, and they're there. They're there to do that. It's like the only, uh, you know, nobody from Hollywood wants to come besides Sean Astin. And Sean Astin is in so many of our movies, mm -hmm. you know. He's great. Sean he, Astin just hangs around in Atlanta until someone lets him into the soundstage yeah. to yeah. shoot on some of these 100%. movies. You, and God love him for it, God honestly. Love him. God does love him. God love him. And it clearly works because I've seen him on screen. Oh, yeah. Have you guys, do you guys like to work with only believers or do you try to diversify the crew or are your actors? I like try to have an integrated them? cast and crew. I think that's yeah. important. That's yeah. so For meaningful to conversations. That must lead to so many discussions on set while y'all yeah. Absolutely. People share the gospel in between, you know, at the craft services table, in between takes. The DP has to talk to, you know, maybe a background extra and, you know, a real dialogue can get opened yeah. up. Yeah, do you ever try and save them? Now, I, again... I'm not a Christian storyteller. I'm a of storyteller course. that happens to be Christian. Of so course, if they sorry. get saved, if 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 there's a crew member or cast mm -hmm. member, you know, going straight and, you know, shooting from the hip, that's not my responsibility. But wow. if it happens, I'm very happy it does. Do you do do you not assume responsibility when something wrong goes on? I have zero liability whatsoever over mm -hmm. anything that happens on my sets. Because again, I'm a storyteller. If something happens to happen on my set, that's not my responsibility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a clean crazy. way to do it. Well, I will say that that kind of reflected in your movie Big Stone. Mm -hmm. I thought that was such an interesting movie because I didn't understand what was happening until the end where it was revealed that actually we were following the soldiers outside of Jesus' tomb and then they find the stone and, and it's rolled away. And I thought it was important to tell from their perspective because we've all heard the resurrection mm. story. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me, the resurrection history, I should say. <laughs> of course. Thank story. you. Save. We we to, to, you almost went to no hell. <laughs> I was about to start crying. Yeah, hang on my face. <laughs> and I, that's the question we always ask is like, what was going through the soldiers' heads no, at that 100%. time? Yeah. Right? 
Yeah, yeah oh, I'm yeah. dying to know. Which, but I will say though, that's a pretty strong Christian narrative for somebody that says like, you know, he doesn't really tell a Christian story. Yeah, it was Jesus's tomb. <laughs> it was, but they you go, notice how I they mean, they did not say his name until Act Three. Yeah, I thought I was well, watching American Sniper. That's right, with Bradley Cooper. Oh, that's and true. and then towards the end, I saw a flash of the tomb, and I went, "Oh shit, I'm mm-hmm. on uh, flicks." Pure, pure flicks. Hello, pure flicks. Duh. So you remember the word shit, but not the word For someone who has flicks. an overall deal, you're not giving them the exposure that scripture <laughs> says you should. It would be should. a little T.O.'d. Oh, I don't care. Yeah, I they will know say I love though, them. I will say, though, it felt kind of avant-garde for me for like the movie to just follow these soldiers around, and then right at the end of the third act, they say, oh my gosh, Jesus is gone, and <laughs> he, that must mean he's God. But listen... You remembered the line, right? Yeah. I did. I it made such an impact all the time. Right. And I think what you're wait was that teach? your first date with your wife? That was my first date. Wow, with my wife. that's amazing. We were uh, we were talking all the way home. Wow. Yeah, and and yeah, we went home not to do anything, just of course, just to talk about the movie more. That's really of course. nice. To answer your question, Pierce, also I think diversity is also really important. <clears throat> I. Uh, the last movie me and the kids did, uh, that little shack in the frozen woods. <laughs> The last movie, it was really cool because we hired an all atheist cleaning crew. And it was really amazing to have that involved. Could you tell a difference in the way they clean things? Yeah, it was worse. (laughs) Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. But it was exciting because we'd have them come in two hours early and we'd have them see the mess we're making. Right. And we'd have them watch. It feels like you're making them more mad. Well, I love that movie too. Can I just bring up? Little House in the Deep Cold. Uh, it's called? Little Shack in the Frozen Woods. Little yeah. Shack in the Frozen Woods. Yeah. And what I got from it was a, you know, a boy and his family had to run from their their suburban home because the boy wouldn't sit down for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. And that scene where all of the Americans with their pitchforks coming after this boy for standing yeah. up for what he believes in is so powerful. And I'll tell you what, this happens every. Day in yeah. America. This mm. was, every it does. Day. This was a, this was an idea of a little girl in my group. Uh, her name is Izzy uh, Izzy St. Cloud, and she came up with this idea. She pitched it, and we said, "Let's run with this." And sometimes I gotta be really careful because I I, I, I say, "Was this your idea, or is this an idea that your parents are telling us to make?" And this ended up being an idea that her parents told her to pitch. So you went with it. Right. But we still went with it. Because when an idea comes, it works. Sometimes it happens. The frequently it happens. So I, I'm really working with the kids to make sure that the God is talking to them, not through their parents. Right. I say, God, look, God's Except talking to them. Except that time. Well, so that sometimes t- well, we gotta God use the idea. If it's good. Yeah, God has his messages. God talked to the mom and talked exactly. to the kid who talked to you. It, but I, it's still coming from the same yeah. source. And, but I talked to God and I said, let's cut up the middle, man. And I said, let's talk to my kids. <laughs> and let's go to them first and then they can come to me. There yeah. just needs to be an order here. Sure. So you know what I mean? Yeah. We just need to, we need to kind of get it from the source. Because they're not going to learn. I think these kids need to learn these lessons. These kids need to learn how to talk to God themselves. Mm-hmm. And if they yeah. let their parents talk to God... Their parents are gonna, you know, do everything for them. Yeah. And so I'm trying to teach these kids to say, yeah. "Don't talk to me, or don't talk to my dad, don't talk to my mom, talk to me." Mm. Yeah. Well, that's a similar thing that happened with um, uh, the web series my production company and I made. Um, Grandma fell on her head. Oh and wow! I saw this. It was Grandma so fell cool. on her head, and we did a full web series um, based off of a story in our church at the Rock Church, where uh, a woman w- uh, fell on her head, went into a coma, and she saw God. Okay, she saw God, and the coma lasted forty-five minutes. Okay, wow. and she saw so much of what God has planned for this country, and that's and legally a coma still. It's legally asleep. in the law. Okay. We checked okay. in the law of the land in America. <laughs> of this land, they yeah, say of this land. that of this a great coma land that we all love begins at thirty minutes, and that's okay. something the law can decide. Yeah. Yes, so when someone passes out and they faint, the reason why they're rushing is so they don't go into a coma. Well, that's <laughs> okay, wait, so technically we're all in comas probably six to eight hours a night. No, that's sleep. Okay. I will say that was Don't be my- silly. 
<laughs> well, was... no, I'm not being silly. I just want to know. Yeah. Legally. So Legally. Well, Legal. I will say that was my favorite part in the film when the Democrats came after the grandma for not being in a, not technically being in a coma. And they mm-hmm. had that big court case about, right. one, proving that God was real, and two, proving that a coma is legally 45 30. minutes in this great yeah. land. Episode four, Gaslight Believer. Yeah, and when the, when the liberal jury got up and stoned her in the courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and let me put say, her back into a coma and you to know that, ha- more that happens every single day in this country. Every, every, every single, single day. In, America, in our country, this happens. Right. Single day. <laughs> this happens all the time. I told our stunt coordinator, I said, don't be shy. Let those liberals go. And let them be nasty. And you didn't use prop rocks, right? No, we did not. Because I wanted those liberals to really feel it. Right. That's so exciting. Which is kind of yeah. similar to the process that I think... I don't know. It, this guy's probably our Steven Spielberg, right? Mel Gibson. Yes. Boy, mm-hmm. Jim Caviezel mm-hmm. through yes. for the Passion right. of the Christ, right? right? So Absolutely. Totally. And it is a lesson of you should literally torture the people yeah. that you're no, you making you movies should. with. Yeah. You yeah. should. Yes. Oh, I watch that movie uh, every year for my birthday. I do a backyard hang, and on the projector, we put the Passion of the Christ on. That's really fun. Do you ever do a double feature? Yeah, sometimes I do that movie, and... Uh, <laughs> Sometimes they do that movie and La La Land. <laughs> yeah, because a Hollywood part of you. Yeah, it's a Hollywood. Yeah. Part. Yeah. You do Hollywood. lean a little Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. How does it play? How does it? How does it feel when you watch the whole thing? Like so that? it goes seamlessly one into the other. Really? Yeah. Uh, no cuts. No intermission. We go right in. No, no cuts. bathroom break. <laughs> I think that's great because that last shot is him. You know, the mom crying with it. You know, he hasn't risen yet, but he's going to. You know, the people showing, and then you go perfectly onto that freeway overpass. Cut to the one ten. Cut to the one ten. Cut that. Think about that day. Do meaning for me because it's, it leaves you with a question, then it immediately answers God is music. Yes, when I turned 30, uh, the girl who I was dating, who is now my wife, and she's hot, uh, I'll say, <laughs> she, <laughs> I asked her. I don't you... think Borat's in the scripture for me personally. I don't think, I'll I say, don't know, something that about movie it. very funny for me. I rubs like me the movie. wrong I way. I love that movie. Uh, I'm in it, not of it. So I, what I did is I asked her for my 30th birthday, I said, will you, will you mix it up? Will you clip it all together in iMovie and move the movies oh. around so it goes from Passion of the Christ, La La Land, Passion of the Christ, La La Land, and it goes back and forth and back and forth. That's oh, great. They're that's a, Yeah, that's exactly how I cut most of my movies on iMovie. Yeah, it's all put together. You guys there. use iMovie? <laughs> oh, we love. We all cut on iMovie, right? <laughs> yeah, I love iMovie. So it's kind of it's, it's our team. industry standard. The kids taught me iMovie. I was using Photo Booth. And then <laughs> yeah, that's they taught tough. me movie. That's a lot tougher. I will say though, Mary <laughs> Sue harder. Ellen, your your movies seem a little nicer than iMovie when I watch them. I will say, I mean, y'all, I am a professional. You know, when I I I I'm I'm fulfilling a niche. I, I think I'm my I mean my movie is on Pure Flix, but we are in talks with Netflix because it is. Whoa. You know, we're in talks with Hallmark. We're in talks with Lifetime. Um, because, you know, the color of Netflix is red, right? Of course, I'm that's aware. That's the second and, color of evil. And that's the first thing I brought up <laughs> in, in our general. In, in your communism. general with Netflix, you yeah. condemned them? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> in I the pitch? You said this mind. is the second color of sin and it's the color of communism. I said, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, that's another thing that's so dangerous about it. But, I mean, you know, I'm just trying to make a good story. I'm trying to make a yeah. good story. I mean, she, uh, she he, he lied, she believed, mm-hmm. is all about a girl who, she's 16, Yeah, she's mm-hmm. all American, mm-hmm. she's Christian. She's American yeah. from head to toe. From yeah. head to, head to the tippity tip toe. of her toe. And she uh, meets a boy that she thinks she really likes, Ryan, in her grade. Mm-hmm. And he, he's he got swoopy hair, and he plays the guitar, mm-hmm. and he's a real charmer. Um, but it all, uh, her t- wor- world turns topsy-turvy when he asks her um, if they can kiss. Now, of course, she's a good Christian girl, and she knows that she shouldn't. But there's all this peer pressure, you know? It's the people, all the liberal teachers get up with their pitchforks, and they say, you have to kiss your boyfriend. <laughs> you have to do it. And that's crazy, because that happens every, <laughs> every day. Every single day. day. Did, that you film that, all the time. did you film that movie on uh, real film? On real film, yeah. Wow. wow. 25 millimeters. So what's the lie in there? I just want to... <laughs> <laughs> 25? Wait, 25, 25 millimeters. millimeters? That's shorter than normal. Where'd you find that? <laughs> you found a stock between 16 and 35. Yeah, I found it. Wow. In, I found it in an 
an old store full of goodies. An old and store. <laughs> You went an film shopping store. in an old store? <laughs> well, you know, back in my sinning days, I used to go to an old store that had sort of all sorts of knickknacks. <laughs> well, wait, was 25 millimeter kind of the standard film stock for adult entertainment like you used to Oh, make? was that por- deep oh, porn? Was that well, deep? it was the heavy kind, yeah. It was the heavy, oh, the heavy film kind. stock. Mm-hmm. Okay. The heavy kind was 25 millimeter. And that's a special kind that you had to go to a different kind of blockbuster to get. I mean, y'all, I was doing film. I was doing filth and yeah. smut, but I believe I don't. I don't shame anybody who's still doing it. No. You know, wow. I love for them. I believe they're on their path, and they will be right where I am mm. now. And you asked about the lie. Yeah, what was the lie? So his lie is that you think he's a cute boy. What? But he's actually the devil. He's lying. Oh, oh. no! And so, so all of the so all of the townspeople, the townspeople force the woman to kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> he's the devil. The liberals, the, devil. the liberals make her kiss the, li- the Satan. Isn't it sad? And this happens all the time. <laughs> all the time. Every day in this country. That was cra- I, a crazy. When I saw that, that was a crazy twist. When right after they kiss, he goes, <laughs> and starts doing that evil laugh, and the horns come it's out. so Ma- evil. Mary Sue Ellen, I, I, I do want to say, you're doing mm-hmm. something noble. You're speaking Thank about you. something we should all be doing, which is forgiving our sinners in our lives, mm-hmm. forgiving the people around us. And I like to think of them as my sinners. Yeah, there are yeah. sinners. There are exactly. responsibility. Exactly. Because we're people that are having conversations with God. We're, right. we're the people that can make the change, right? Mm. Yeah, my we've got to do something. Yeah. About a year ago, my kids got really into salvia, all of them. And <laughs> all of them. All of them. So I just spit. Like 100%. Uh, uh, 100%. I walked in, they said, we're all into salvia. <laughs> What, so how did that happen? They, was there a gateway to it? Like, were they also that feels like a first? kind of a vintage drug at this point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Those kids must be freaking vintage. You know, over in Arrowhead, Texas, they are into some weird stuff. It's we're a little behind the times, right? Mm. We only got we only got uh, you know four streaming services on our Roku's. We got a lot less oh. than everybody else. How, brother, how'd you get through that difficult season? Wow. Well, I sat them down. I said, "Where is this coming from? <laughs> Who told you about this?" And uh, they told me it was uh, this guy on the other side of town, this this ruffian named Shane, and a real, real bad guy. Hmm. Mm. And so I went over and I talked to him, and I said, what are you doing talking to my kids? He said, they, I don't know. I had some extra salvia. I left it on my doorstep. Somebody picked it up. And I said, well, don't do that. And he said, okay. And we've never had a problem since. Wow, you're oh, great. wow. Yeah, it's you well, know it's hard to good. get salvia. That's easy. It's, it's salvia if it's one source and you cut the source, then it's gone. You so, have to be careful with drug dealers. Uh, my wife was uh, in front of a house oh, and boy, a drug dealer back. left their drugs <laughs> yeah, outside the house. Really? <laughs> and what she thought was he an returned. Amazon package was a bunch of whippets. I believe that. <laughs> I believe that one hundred percent. Did your and, wife do the whippets? Well, she thought it was her Botox. <laughs> so she okay. So she has common mistake. She has Botox it's to get it into her cheeks. It's, drugs are crazy. When these kids were doing salvia, they were being crazy for 10, 15 minutes tops, and then they were normal again. <laughs> But they were an intense, it was such an intense 10 to 15 yeah, minutes. That's insane. And it was so difficult for us to make a movie. We were literally mid-production on a film. We had to we had to halt it for about what 36 hours. <laughs> what film was that? For 15 minutes. That was, uh, that was uh, uh, Dare You to Believe. Dare You to Believe. Yeah. I love that one. And I love oh. the sequel, Double Dog Dare You to Believe. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you should really. Brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you got to see uh, the next one. Triple dog dare you to believe, no takesy backsies. <laughs> oh, really excited about wow. that. That's the crew goes to an international conference at a hotel in Canada. And Whoa. so that's what happens no on way. that. Yeah, that's it's so really cool. Fun. That's great. The least that's Christian so... nation on the planet. Yeah, we're working Canada. on it. That's what we thought. We said, I th- we said, we think we need to shine our light in that area. Mm. Yeah. If you guys had to make a piece of work that wasn't faith based, what would you do? Oh, God. Mm, Because I'll be honest. Gosh. We're in good company. I could be as honest as I want. Sometimes I watch the Netflix and I'm like, this would be fun. To just do Wait, something. What do you watch it on Netflix? Oh, I'd love to know everyone's sin shows. Oh, my Ooh. sin show. Oh, is it sin show time? I'm ready. Oh, it's sin, sin show. What's your sin show? I want to oh, hear you sin know show. it's Great British Bake Off. No. Oh, that's a sin. And that's sin. the calories alone are with sin. sin. Yeah. The calories <laughs> Come on. Because the desserts are simply sinful. <laughs> the calories. Just that. <laughs> just looking at those calories. Devilish. 
every devilish, day. Devilish, devilish oh. calorie intake. Yeah. Devil's, <laughs> devil's food cake? I was just going to say. Sasquatch angel food cake on there if you oh. notice. Oh. Nope. The enough. greatest trick the Stop devil ever pulled it. is making something stodgy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> With not enough sponge. <laughs> not enough. What's, your, what's your sin show? Oh, I love um, Selling Sunset. Oh, oh I think so those fun. girls are so fun. And you know what? I think I could change them. Yeah. Oh, I amen. think I could fix amen. them. Amen. Amen. I believe that. I think with That's the right cool. house, if they saw the right decor, if they saw the right Pinterest signs that say, home is where the heart is, God is where the I am, they would know. God is where I am. But could you fix those exactly. fiendish twins? <laughs> oh, I don't believe any twins can be fixed. <laughs> Any twins. Any twins. I've oh. always felt that too. Listen, There's something sinister belief. always about and twins. I've so Don't you think God looked heart. away for a second? <laughs> he God looked, looked away, away when he made twins. And what happened? Twins. No, twins happened during the Grecian period. <laughs> when he right, was right, right. MIA. That yeah. is. Right. Well, that's the Remus and Romulus, the reason for Rome, sucking at the teat of a wolf. Listen. Those are twins. And those are Greek twins. God had nothing to do with them sucking at the teat of a wolf. Bad that. things happen when you do things in sets of two. Because yeah. I'll tell you, you add one more, that's the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. But if you take one away, who is that? It's not two's company. <laughs> no. It's three's company. Amen. Three's company. Who is that? Who is, who, who, <laughs> literally, who, who is, is that? Who is that? <laughs> who is that? You take one away, who is that? And that's who why no, that? none of us chew double mint gum. Right? No, never. No. No, we I, never. I used to, and then I saw that commercial, I said, oh, mm. gosh, I got to spit it out right now. Oh, my mm -hmm. kids were watching Sweet Life of Zach and Cody, and I said, who is that? Turn that shit off. <laughs> Excuse yeah. my life. So what's your cheat show, your sin show? I'm going to be honest. I like Stranger Things. The kids got me into it. Okay. It's That's really sinful. That's so That's sinful. Really it's sinful. It's really sinful, guys. As it's an OTJ. naughty. But that's fine. You know, we're all allowed one scene. There's literally demons in that show. <laughs> well, know that, I right? know. I know it's sinful. That's and why the, I called it. And the it heroes that. are kind of anti heroes that worship Satan. Yeah. They have a whole Satan club. It's, yeah. it, it feels like, uh, to me, it feels like masochism to watch it. It's it's naughty. It's, Which is it's another bad. sin. Which it is, is another. All you're saying sin. This is getting worse. Hey, I supported all your, all your twin shows and your freak I, I, shows. That was just and you have demons. Yeah. These yeah, are real demons, guys. I think ours are pretty tame. I think a five-layer cake is different than Vern. Wait, what's the red guy's name? It's got to be Vern. Vecna? It's got to be Vern. Yeah, Vern. No, I'm pretty sure it's Vern. <laughs> no, it's Vecna. I'm the one who's watched it. Dude, guys, why would somebody name a character Vecna? That ain't a name. Well, no. Vern is a name. You guys, have devil, you guys have devils in all the things y'all do. <laughs> Thank devil. you for saying devil. devil because I don't want to mess with that stuff. No, you all have devils in all your stuff. You have a devil in your show. You have a devil in your stuff. Devil's Just because a devil is in something doesn't mean that it's bad. He's it in America. That is so yeah, bad. Yeah, that's it true. Yeah, and we love America, <laughs> like, yeah, without he question. He's in it. And the songs are fun, guys. My favorite musical is Rock of Ages, and mm. a lot of that music in Rock of Ages they also use in Stranger Things. And I will and say, so though, much fun. Rock of Ages was made by a God-loving man. You can tell. It was. You could tell. Based off of the, the costumes man. on those women, it's a God-loving what's the, what's the finale song? Don't Stop Believing. Amen. Are you wow. Me? Literally. Yeah. Amen. That's what what's we're your, here to do. What's your well, sin, sin show? My sin show, I'd have to go with Sesame Street porn. Sesame Street what? porn? No. I said Sesame Street. You said You definitely porn. said Sesame no, Street No, I said Sesame Street no, porn. Honey, I've been you here. Said... I can help you. Okay? Oh, yeah. You guys should connect. I can help you. No. Sesame Street porn. No, because You're saying I'm it. hearing you. <laughs> no. I'm hearing you. What I'm hearing is you crying for help. What I'm hearing is you really want us to hear you say porn, no. so that we, so that somebody will reach out a hand and guide you towards. The no, I, I'm watching. I, I, I'm watching I, I, Sesame Street. Porn. You need Please to help me. You need Please to listen. Me. To you her. need Please to find me. your light. Oh. You need to find your light. Look at these lights. Yeah. Look at these lights that are poor and idiot. You need to find it. That's do you mind if we pray over you? Doing what into you? Can we, can we pray <laughs> over you? Pray? you? Would you They're mind pouring if we... In. What, the, Could you guys pray over I mean, me? Can we pray over her? Yeah, can we pray? Because yeah, well, I've been not, watching so much Sesame Street. Of course, of course, of course. Let us pour ourselves into you Thank you. hard. Do what into her Please hard? Please pour into me. Lord, let us pour on. into her hard the <laughs> ability to stop looking at such devilish mm. media. Allow her the strength to move away from that media and allow her the strength to find her light in something else. I'm a boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm. 
I made a horrible mistake. Father, we pray for forgiveness for the sin of misgendering <laughs> our brothers wow, and sisters and non-binary not siblings. He is a sorry teller. <laughs> And Father, we pray that you just ram your forgiveness into him. You just ram, ram him it, hard. God, just ram get it. it all in there. Cover him in it. And I'm sorry once more for the misgendering. <laughs> ram me, God. God, I just wanted to mention that I was near the misgendering, but I had nothing to do with it. I didn't want anything to do with it. And I actually, I knew that, I knew that this man was a man the whole time. I would never misgender God. And God, I just want to say I'm completely out of my depth here. These people are so <laughs> different than the people I have in Shreveport. Um, but y- you're sending me on mm-hmm. a way, and I love that. Mm-hmm. Keep, keep, keep it going. Mm-hmm. Keep Amen. it going. Amen. 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 Wow. Oh, I can't thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're never you. going to watch that again. Never. What? Talk, watch what? Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? No. Those are twins. Oh, Devil. The, the God. It's evil. Oh, wow. Sorry, keep hitting the table. All right, what's your sin show? I love Walking Dead. That's <laughs> really Walking sin. Dead. Now, there's zombies on that. I think I know Great someone show. who walked dead. Okay, <laughs> Lazarus. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Jesus, I guess. Well, I was <laughs> talking about the big guy. Yeah, I kind of went too. with a B-side before the great <laughs> you, oh, you love the deep cuts. That's so that's storytelling awesome. of you. That's, that's so, so storytelling awesome. Listen, I'm here to tell stories. I wouldn't consider that Walking Dead. Well... No, because he was dead, and then he walked up, and he walked on up to heaven, and then when the rapture comes, he's going to walk on back down. He came back to life. He wasn't walking dead. He came back to life. Well, everybody thought he was dead, so it's just simple language that I'm using. It's just an expression, man. He wasn't ever dead. Yeah. He well, was dead, and then he was well, alive. It's coming stops. from you, the man who believes God isn't in Greece. God wasn't in Greece. <laughs> so he you see him now. in the paintings? Is, is he there see? now? Yes, right he's now? in Greece. Okay, I just want to make sure. Zeus, Athena, Aphrodite, yeah. Dionysus, they're all gone. Okay. Don't you guys see? So they left Greece? They he left. They headed out. They moved on. He, they're nothing anymore. My God. This is just so polytheistic, uh, such a polytheistic video. It's not. I believe in one God, and I believe he let other people think they were gods, and then they left. You guys. <laughs> now, I want to talk about funding. Okay, I would love How do y'all fund your stuff? Uh, crowdfunding, every time. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. I mean, it's just everyone is used to it from a church model of donations yes. and tithing. Totally. So what we're doing, and again, like, and I know y'all consider yourself Christian artists or whatever. Mm. I'm more of a storyteller that happens to be Christian. But for whatever the case may be, of course. it is important to uh, give people a buy into the mission of what you're doing. Yes. And your GoFundMes are action-packed. They're so well, fun. We do a lot of fun stuff for all the different tiers. I like, think yeah. I've seen you do GoFundMes for your GoFundMes. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it because of all the uh, coders you need to recode those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because those all- you are coding outside of the website. <laughs> yeah. It gets elaborate. I mean, the intro video did exceed the budget of the movie we were trying to find. Of like, well, hey amen. Guys. And well, they're amen. 59 minutes, too. So. Yeah. Well, just to give everyone a vision. You need to buy into the vision amen. of a story. And what better weapon do we have in this war, amen. this spiritual warfare that we're all doing than story? That's so great. I, you know, I'm just remembering we gave $50,000 for you for a sit-down coffee meal. Yeah. And I'm excited for that to come. Yeah. I love coffee. No, it'll meals. happen. It'll happen. It's just a little tight right now. But, it, but it is going to happen. What's tight? Coffee your good. time or your money? My, well, my time is just a little, we're still working on funding the next movie. And it's it's just going to be a little. Oh, what's, the next, what's movie? the next movie? Oh, the next, you guys are going to love this. <laughs> it's, it's really fun. <laughs> so it follows this little girl, right? Mm. I'm in. And... <laughs> <laughs> And I kind of don't want to give the twist away, but the twist at the end is that it is a biblical story of a sort, and she does go blind, and then Jesus heals her at the end. So it is just like a little blind girl for like an hour and a half, just stumbling around. How is how is Jesus portrayed in this? Is it through some sort of metaphor? Is it some spring, or is it some sort of magic? So. it just kind of follows her face the whole time. She's just like bumping around and knocking into stuff. Like Mumblecore. Like a, yeah. like like a, a POV g- shot. Like a GoPro or a rig? Yeah, more yeah. like a GoPro than a POV shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And and the only Jesus you get, because again, I'm a storyteller. I, I like to use metaphor mm, and yeah. allegory. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not important for me to do a literal, this is what happened in the Bible. The only thing you get of Jesus is you just get his hand for five seconds at the end, putting his hand on her face, and then the movie ends. That's amazing. Wow. That's that's oh, so but, that, but we know who that is. You know. That's we you know, know immediately. whose hand that is. That's great. We that's know. Amazing. 
That's going to be so wonderful to see, and me and my wife will be <laughs> so confused and talk about it for a long time. Yeah, and sure. to be clear, it's going to be a blind girl stumbling around for an hour and a half. <laughs> and, and that's then so hand. tasteful, the way you're handling <laughs> right. the girl who's blind. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's just, it's done with such nuance. Yeah. And it's it's such a good so, understanding of what blind people do. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's good for so you for writing. delicate in the way you're treating this. Great. It's, it's honestly Your wife should so play beautiful. Yeah. What's Your next for you, Mary girl, Sue Ellen? I think, what... I think so. Well, well, I am making a movie. Um, I'm doing. Um, um, okay, so I don't know if y'all have seen. Um, there's a story going around on the internet recently. Um, it's a true oh. story about a um, a woman who uh, mm. goes in for open heart surgery, and her boyfriend is standing by her side the whole time, and then. She wakes up from the surgery, and her boyfriend's gone. Mm. And she says, doctor, who, <laughs> what happened? And then he said, well, we, we gave you a new heart. It's beaten. It's good as new. And she said, where's my boyfriend? And then the doctor says, who do you think gave you the heart? Yeah. You know what? I read about this story on a, on a website that gave me a virus. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it, and I'll just say, and it, it got ingrained in the desktop, and I read it every day because it will not move from the desktop. <laughs> so yeah, you're gonna go see I, it. First I'm gonna see in it. Line. I'm gonna be there. I read it super oh, recently <laughs> on a on you're a blog be... spot about um, um, cookies, and it. <laughs> you're gonna be one of those guys that's like the book was better than the movie. <laughs> I hope I hope you do it yeah. justice because I, I know it I word think the for word. Will be better. Yeah. No viruses on my 25 millimeter film. Mm -hmm. No viruses. That's going to be so But I'm beautiful. really excited. And this is a true story, just so I'm This true. is it's absolutely true. Yeah. I mean, I did, I, I assume <laughs> this story is actually public domain at this point because I emailed the uh, the lady who runs the cookie <laughs> blog that I found this story on. Oh, yeah. And I tried to get the rights for it, but I kept getting a bounce back that the email, it was an AOL email that mm -hmm. I guess doesn't exist anymore. Mm. Um, so, cookie blogs are public domain. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think I think this woman and her uh, boyfriend, bless us all, would want us to tell that story. That's such a beautiful story. And, and did beautiful. he give the heart because of his, you know, the love of Christ in him and compelled oh, him to? Oh, of course. Okay. I mean, I don't think you can do something like that without the love of no, Christ. No, you can't donate an organ if you don't love Christ. No, I don't think so you true. can. And more, I, I, th I don't think they let you, yeah. No, it's in the charts. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be really weird if someone did it for no reason. Well, it just wouldn't make sense. No. It just wouldn't make any sense. No. Like, why would you do that? Why? Yeah. You, why? Literally, why? Go make a TikTok. Right. <laughs> thank, thank you for saying that, Bobby. Exactly. Thank you. What's me, everyone else got? Me and the kids are really excited. First, we're doing a uh, Florence and the Machine music video. What? We're really excited about it. <laughs> you and the kids? Me and the kids are doing a Florence and the Machine music video. <laughs> we're really thrilled about it. Is Florence going to be in it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Florence is going to be coming in on the last day. And she's going to be doing a, a, some of her stuff. Yeah. And uh, uh, and then, but we're going to be doing a lot of stuff beforehand. Okay. Oh, tell me you're doing the Dog Days Are Over and you're we, doing a rapture story. We are doing, she just did a new duet of the Dog Days Are Over with uh, Jay-Z. And and so we. That's going to be such oh a good verse God. on that. Well, I wonder why that happened. Whoa. <laughs> I don't they, know where you would put my, a verse like that in that song. I really don't know, but God is so good that they gave us this. God I mean, is so it's amazing. That's so specific that's so and weird amazing. and old that that's coming from God. God and is so good for that. We are working on, yeah, it's so dated. It's crazy, and but I'm just so grateful because God doesn't see dates. God only sees opportunities. And, and I think... Another thing that we're working on after that is we're working on this amazing idea that um, little Mikey uh, Williams had. He's one of the kids in my youth group. He came up with this idea about how there's too much technology nowadays mm. and phones are always updating and it's so annoying. Yeah. Whoa. And so, so there's this app you can get called um, God Date and it updates for God, but then it gets all complicated and you realize how annoying phones are and it's, they actually, people get rid of their phones. And it's just like all about how like, it's a hard kid to came up with that? Yeah. Was this before or after he was clean from the salvia addiction? Yeah. <laughs> this was, this was after. Okay. It was during. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got a little feedback from our that. engineer. There. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry, my uh, my, my junior pastor is here. My junior pastor is here. He told me it's during. Um, I was I was unclear. It was during. <laughs> <laughs> it was during. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was during. But now that I listen to it, it sounds a lot like an idea that a, an older parent might have for it's a kid. It's just got to be. It's just got to be. I'm sorry, yeah, well, but that's no. Well, yeah, God, God gave an idea to an older parent who dropped it in the yeah. well, and a child picked it up. Like, Amen. that's how... It's how ideas happen. Yeah. It's how so stories sorry. are passed from what generation exactly. to generation. Yeah, what well, are you working on? Uh, my web series production company, we just got a huge deal. Not sure if I could say it, but here I go. Um, <laughs> wow, you're just doing it. Do you know the name of the streamer it's on? We are, it, we're actually breaking our, our overall deal. <laughs> you're announcing <laughs> you're breaking it. We're breaking it wow. because the only thing that should be broken is bread. And I don't care about worldly rules and contracts. I only care about the word. And we are doing a web series on the Bible app. Oh. Yes. And oh, wow. The app that's only the Bible. The Bible app. <laughs> yes. So there's going to be pop-ups now. It's going to be unskippable pop-up. web series episodes. Pop-up narrative script <laughs> content. Unskippable. And we're finding a way. So if you're in church and you're opening up your Bible app, it's going to still pop up. That's so- and could you imagine how powerful it's going to be when a congregation is all on their Bible app and the same web series you episode plays? it just cascading the through the time. sanctuary. Is it, I'm, gonna, I'm a little confused. Is it going to be like you open your Bible to a passage and, and then it's a short? story that explains the passage? No, or? we're going to catch you. You're going to be reading the Bible, and then out of nowhere, pop up. Pop up. And uh, it's a story of how a glee club came together and dis- does communion. Mm. Ugly club? <laughs> ugly club. What Just did you say? A glee, glee club? club, glee club. Or no, glee club. no, it's it's a glee club called Ugly Club. Ugly <laughs> Club. <laughs> Ugly club? <laughs> Ugly club. And they get together. It's kind of like the outsiders oh, in the world yeah. coming Breakfast together. Club. Yes. And this oh, is yeah. on the and Bible app? <laughs> yes. Ugly club. And can I ask you a personal question? It's a bunch of, of ugly course. kids eating bread. <laughs> Are they ugly? Oh, the Lord is going to cast it for me, so we're just going to see. Okay, we don't know yet. No. But, I mean, well, if the script says it, so does the word. How does the Lord cast mm. for you? Mm. What's the process? So uh, we we uh, take all we take all the headshots and we shake them up, and we put them uh, before the Lord. And where's that? We put them before the Lord. You're really slipping into something southern. We have we, before the Lord, and we have a um, we have a painting of the Lord at the rock. Okay, I see. We put them before. And we sit there, we pray over it, and then uh, we just see who has the biggest Instagram followers. Oh, oh, oh! That's yes. kind of clarifying. Yeah, that's yeah, the that's do on the ground, that as they the, say. Yeah, that's great. That's, that's the, the Hollywood stuff in there for sure. Yeah, my that's, kids, my kids only follow each other on Instagram. It's so annoying. <laughs> That's that's freaking yeah, annoying. That's so, <laughs> that is real. They don't follow you. Or are you a little upset? No, about they that? won't follow me. It's annoying. What are you working on? I'm working on a film called Zombie Jesus. Is I'm really Whoa. excited about it. Yeah, it's wow. gonna be Z- Jesus is back and he is hungry. Feels blasphemous. Oh. That doesn't feel right to me. I that actually, it's, it's right on the edge. Wrong. But that's no, what that I love like about your work. Is it be pushes honest. it. People, yeah, people, I'm I'm doing it for me and my buddies, and a lot of people can I think find glean meaning that I don't know if I put it there, but. I do respect finding meaning. You know what that meaning might be? That might be husbands meeting wives. No. When they go see them. Meeting wives. Mm -hmm. Okay. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Or on their first. Damn it. I heard. (laughs) Yeah, just to be clear. I think we all heard beating. Meeting. (laughs) We all heard beating. Husbands and wives on their first date. That might be the meeting. Yeah, I know that's what was in your heart. Pierce, I I hate to tell you I disagree with that wholeheartedly. I don't think Jesus, even if he came back as a zombie, I think he'd be kind. I think he'd teach Christian values. I don't think that that's what he would do. So I don't, I really don't think, how far have you gotten into the movie? Oh, we're done. (laughs) Okay, I I would consider not releasing. Well, it's really funny. You've got to come down. You bring the kids, they'll have a hoot and a half. Are you inviting us to the studio? Yeah, y'all can come down if you want. Shoot anything. Oh, really? My kids would love to see an actual production studio. We shoot everything in the city. The city of Shreveport (laughs) gave us the keys, and we can just make copies and give them out to anybody. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people are doing a lot of fun stuff down there. It doesn't seem legal, but we'll do it. it, Louisiana, it's legal. Louisiana, it's all fun down there. It's not far. I mean, I'm I'm in Texas. God is good. I'll I'll come. Oh, yeah, you probably. What part of Texas? Uh, Arrowhead, Texas. Oh, is that like two hours? Yeah, it's two hours outside of every major city in Texas. <laughs> what highway do you have to take to get there? A 287. That's okay. a 287 right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, but you not the 110. This has been Artists and Artists and Artists and Artists answering the question. Now that's why they call it Showbiz. Good night. 
Artist on Artist on Artist on Artist is an improvised Hollywood Roundtable podcast created and performed and produced by Kylie Brakeman, Jeremy Colhane, Angela Giratana, and Patrick McDonald. Our guest today was Kevin T. Porter. You can check him out on Twitter and follow his podcast, Good Christian Fun. AOAOAOA is a Sugar 23 podcast. Michael Mayer and Michael Sugar, executive producers. Liam Billingham, producer. Production support by Angelo Ristano and Anthony DeFrancesco. Music is by Gabriel Ponton. The opinions expressed on this podcast do not reflect the opinions of anyone who works on it, not even the performers, because this is an improvised podcast and we're stupid. Full video versions of AOAOAOA are available on YouTube, so please like and subscribe and leave us a five-star review wherever you get your podcasts. Good night, Hollywood.